The Shum Centre for Medical Research is achieving worldwide recognition. What are your key areas of research at the moment? The, the Shum uh, Research Centre is really a research centre within a hospital. So in that sense, our research projects, our research programme is driven by the fact that we are very sensitive to some disease aspects that we find in our population of patients. So we are concentrating on chronic diseases, preventive medicine, predictive medicine, new therapeutic strategies, as well as evaluative and epidemiological research. So uh, everything is driven by the fact that we have patients coming to the hospital, giving us some new questions to answer, and we're trying to bring back those answers to the populations. The type of research we're doing is world class. So our objective is really to be among the best in the world in some very specific areas. And so we're not doing everything, but in those areas that we're working on, we're making sure that we are, we are among the best players in the world. And your new research centre will be opened in 2013. How significant a development is this? Oh, this is a major development in the sense that currently we have to operate on six different sites. So if you have the possibility with this new facility to bring everything together and make sure that they can co-fertilize new ideas that students will be able to exchange, this is major. On top of that, we have uh, new programs or new facilities that will be developed uh, looking at phase one, phase two, A to B uh, possibility. So this is research, very, very early research in human. So all those together will bring, uh, w will make this possibility, this, this facility or this, uh, this research center uh, among the, uh, the best in the world. Turning to you, Sylvain, what facilities will the new center deliver? It is a research center for clinical purposes, but fundamental as a research too. There will be two as a teaching and, uh, and skill uh, facility there, so because we receive at the SHIM more than 5,000 students a year, uh, plus some facility for administrative facility. Everything was planned in, in, in one shot. Uh, the research and the uh, teaching facility administrative building will be delivered in 2013 and the hospital in 2016. We've got a great facility of about 750,000 square meters now. Uh, it, it, it's built now. Uh, they're finishing inside the building, but if you come to Montreal, the research center and the administrative building is built. Uh, they're, they're finishing the touch just until the end of March of next year and to be delivered this is September 30, to, uh, 2013. A good outcome then. Were there any other challenges that you faced in planning and construction? It's a big hospital. It's being built downtown Montreal, right in the middle of the traffic, over a highway and a, a subway. So there were major difficulties, I see, certainly for the research centre, because the research centre is right over the subway, uh, next to the highway. There will be a uh, a bridge, you see, for the administrative building, which is on the other side of the highway. Uh, it, it took quite a bit of planning, uh, and certainly more on, our, on the part of our partner. Tom, like a centre like this doesn't come cheap. Um, how is the centre being financed? Yeah, this was, a, as uh, Sylvain mentioned, a, a, a big challenge, and uh, we had to redesign the, the project to f fit within the, the budget. Um, it was a, a difficult task because of time, and then there's the, the risk reward kind of uh, difficulties and challenges. So it was a well-planned project where the, the SHIM took some responsibilities and some risk and we've passed them to a design build contractor and also to a facility manager for the long-term aspect of the project. And right now, um, if we look at this, it has been financed in a difficult time it was in early 2010. It was the first project in Canada to be financed post the financial crisis. And it's been financed uh, through long-term bonds. So it, it is stable and long-term finance and there's no risk for the project or the SHIM for the life of the project. In terms of investment then, what are the financials over the next three to five years? So this is a real, PPP project. So if we look at the 
what's coming over the next year, we'll finish construction. And then once we finish construction, the shim will start to make the payments or what we call the availability payments. And this is how we'll repay the bonds and we will repay the investment that the equity investor did. And what's great in this project is that it's financed on the long term, so it's very stable. There's no risk on the side of the shim or the investor that this will, will change in the future. The real challenge is to deliver, to complete the project on time, to deliver what was in the specs from uh, the technical specs so that they can do the research and also the teaching that they are looking for. Dominic Chalafou, Jacques Turgeon and Sylvain Villiard, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye.